Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Kyle here again from KGTV. And uh, I have an unboxing here of the uh, Apple Watch Series 4. So I, uh, I just recently got a new job. And uh, at that job they give us like a, a work phone. And the work phone that they actually gave us was the iPhone 8. And I've had some other uh, smartwatch comparisons on my channel. So... I thought it'd be kind of cool to check out the Apple Watch and give it a go. Um, do some tests between that and the um, Samsung Galaxy Watch. And so, yeah, let's just take an unboxing um, and see what this looks like. So, I, ha I don't have a lot of knowledge or experience with the Apple Watches. Um, I've seen a lot of people using them at uh, work and just around but I don't really personally have any experience with one so I'm kind of curious to see see what it's like so it's really long box it's got these weird flap things down here so let's see how No. Uh, okay. So these little flaps just kind of, I guess, slide through. It's really weird boxing. So this is the 44 millimeter version. I have to say, out of all of, um, Apple's packaging, which is usually pretty good. I'd say it's almost like one of the standards. Um, yeah, this one's a little weird. I don't really understand what they're trying to do here. So I'm assuming that this is probably the strap. So let's take a look, see what we got going on here. See Apple Watch there. And I just got, I believe this is like the, it's kind of like the rubberized uh, bands. I guess they give you a medium to large and a small to medium. Uh, let's take one of these out and just kind of see what it feels like. It's actually really soft. Um, so, and, uh, one thing that's nice about these is I know with the Samsung watch or the galaxy watch, I'll do, um, a video about it. If you guys would like about switching out the bands. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult than this is. This looks a little bit more streamlined. I also had issues with the Fitbit, um, Versa as well. That that uh, switching the bands was pretty frustrating on that. Um, so we'll move this box out of the way. And I'm assuming this is just the unit itself. This, this top box is really heavy actually. So right here you get the, um, obviously designed by Apple in California. Put that back there. This is the uh, charging base. So I guess you just lay the watch kind of like on the base. And uh, I don't know what they have going on with all these flaps. I mean, I guess it's okay. Really strange boxing though from Apple with this watch. Like I said before. I don't even know how to get half this stuff out of here. So yeah, just a little little base here for the uh, for the watch to sit on, and then you get your charging brick here, standard. And so this is just the watch itself, which is kind of cool. It's got this like weird. 
I don't even know how to describe it, almost like a velvety kind of feeling uh, protector to it. So I guess you just slide it out. That's actually pretty nice though. I, I know I was complaining about the other stuff, but this is actually really nice feeling. It's very soft. My camera would focus. Sorry. Yeah, it's really soft though, and I like that it just doesn't like, you don't just like rip it off and discard it, because this would be nice to keep your watch in if you travel or something like that, and you're uh, not wearing it for whatever reason. And then, so that is the watch itself. Very nice looking back there. curious to see what this digital crown is like so on the series 4 I think on the series 3 this was actually red and now they've kind of changed that that uh, digital crown and um, also this is the space gray version just in case any of you guys were wondering the screen on this thing is crazy crazy clear um, I don't know if the video is doing it justice, but it's just very clean. So, let's see here. We'll hit English. I'll try to walk through like the first like little steps of it, and then I'll actually put it on my wrist and compare it to the uh, Galaxy Watch. So, to the United States. And then this is where, obviously, we'd start pairing it. So, um... Let me clean the rest of this up, and then uh, I'll come back, and we can um, go forward from there with uh, actually having it on my wrist and seeing uh, how it looks in comparison with the uh, Galaxy Watch. So uh, I'll just uh, be back in a second. Okay, everyone. So sorry about that one. It took me a little while to... Uh get the uh, Apple Watch synced up with my phone. It was actually a, a really easy process, but what actually happened was when I was trying to put the strap on the watch, uh, I guess that I somehow put in a passcode to the watch. So then I had to unsync the watch and then resync it. And in that process, something happened. The watch was at, like showing the face upside down so I had to restart it again, but looks like third time's the charm. So this is the uh, this is the 44 millimeter uh, Apple Watch 4, and uh, it actually feels really light. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I have to create a passcode. Uh, I'll do that, but yeah, just overall feel. Uh, it's really light the bands really comfortable I gotta loosen that a little bit looks like I'm cutting off circulation uh, but yeah it feels really nice it looks really nice and that to me is awesome but it's also like I don't want to say it's like a negative but I feel like if I'm using this for like fitness and activities and stuff uh, it's definitely gonna show scratches and get a little dinged up and that's going to be unfortunate because it does look like such a nice device. Um, I know some people that have these and they're either scratched and cracked or they have this like kind of bulky looking case on it. And I don't really want either of those routes because I don't, you know, I want it to be something nice and light and look good. But I guess, you know, it's kind of a catch 22. It's either going to look nice you know, or uh, it's going to look stupid and bulky. So we'll have to figure that one out down the road. But uh, I'm actually going to put on the uh, Samsung Galaxy watch here in a second just to show you guys uh, the side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so now I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch and the uh, Apple Watch here. 
So the Samsung watch is like your more traditional. Well, I guess it's uh try to get that this. It's not flickering on my screen. It must be um what would that be? The frames or whatever. Uh or the resolution, something like that. But uh anyways, yeah, the Samsung Galaxy watch is definitely your more traditional style looking watch. Um, now this is the 46 millimeter. And this is the 44 millimeter Apple Watch. Uh, try zooming out a little. Or, uh, I guess it's as far down as I can go. So uh, the Galaxy Watch, the band's pretty similar. This is more like rubbery. This has more like a silicone feel or something. This one feels really nice. Uh, this one doesn't feel as nice but this one is like a little bit uh more i don't know if malleable is a good word for it this one's a little bit more firm and stiff but it actually feels softer than this one does um one thing i've noticed is just by having these on the samsung one hasn't the raise to wake see it worked there but you really gotta like sell it for it to come on the Apple Watch uh, is more consistent with that. Not a not a huge deal because once you kind of know how to trigger the Samsung one, or either one of these really, uh, it's not that big of a deal. You know, like I know you have to do just more of a emphasis. So yeah, th that's the size comparison of the two. And uh, I'll do like a more in-depth comparison. Um, I'm actually going to start my um sleep test tonight which i plan on doing another video here in a second so um stay tuned for that if that's something that you're interested in i've had i've had a couple other um videos and sleep tests between smart watches and uh people seem to enjoy those so i plan on making another one for this um but yeah that's just a uh, general unboxing and um size comparison there I'm trying to get further away so you guys can see the difference Samsung's definitely bigger and I like this um, rotating ring bezel thing curious to see how the uh, digital crown works though but uh, yeah, so just stay tuned for uh, more comparison videos and everything coming up between these two. And um, if you like what you see or if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to try to not cut off my circulation as it looks like it's <laughs> getting cut off very quickly at the moment. But uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below if you want to see something in particular, um, health, wise between these two or just stuff about the apple watch in general uh just let me know but stay tuned and i'll uh, check in with you guys soon